Friends, there are no jobs on a dead planet. I speak from the perspective of the union. I have the privilege to lead the Australian Services Union, where we do represent workers in high carbon industries like energy, but also in local government, airlines, social and community services, in administration work, in legal, finance and more. Because every member of our union, and indeed every union member, is impacted by climate change. Every worker, every flat family, every community. The ASU's position on climate change is clear. The science and evidence is in and we need to act. That's why union members around the world are, are participating in these marches and many of them are, are wearing these green hard hats as a sign of workers and solidarity with workers and their communities. As trade unionists, we believe we must do what we can to preserve a healthy planet for generations of workers and families to come. But we need to do this responsibly to ensure there's a just transition for workers and their communities. ASU members who work in energy are one of the first groups of workers to be impacted by climate change, associated government policies and the market response. This year, members working in coal-fired power station and coal mine in regional South Australia have seen their jobs go forever. And some of them are already out of the work and the rest will be gone by March. This is a crisis. Without a just transition, we all lose. The workers, their local community and our entire state. Without a just transition, there'll be no appropriate work uh, opportunities, technical expertise will be lost and surrounding business will be gutted. We do have the opportunity to plan for longer term crises, like for workers in gas fired power stations or in our electricity networks. There's a lot of work ahead and our union's prepared to play our part. We're committed to work with government and the community like all of you here today to tackle these issues because all of our members, no matter their industry, depend on real climate action. We know that the South Australian Government is committed to action on climate change and our members have been lobbying the South Australian Government to adopt a policy of just transition to connect workers to the climate action policies of government. And we're thrilled that today Premier Weatherall and Minister Ian Hunt have listened to our members in announcing their new climate change strategy with a crucial plank for just transitions. And we thank the Premier for listening to workers. There's much more work to do, but we're already winning, as we can see by the leadership of our state government and by how many of you are here today. We look forward to continuing to work together as unionists and community members with our friends in the environmental NGOs and throughout South Australia and with progressive governments to see real change which responds responsibly to this most crucial issue of our times. Okay. Hi guys, yes, I'm, I'm Caroline, so it keeps telling me. Um, like everyone here, I am more than just my job. I'm also a mother, a unionist, and a proud Aboriginal woman, and much, much more. All of these things tell me that it is important that we act on climate change because we want a safe and healthy planet for the next generation, kids and other energy workers, my Aboriginal community, and the generations after that. Our union... Sorry, I haven't got my glasses. <laughs> Our union talks about acting responsibly on climate change. What does that mean? It means that we all need to take on some of the burden and the cost of climate action. It's not right that workers in the industries that are high carbon, like mine, where I work, have to carry the heaviest burden. Our industries are rapidly changing and without thinking about what that means for us workers, we can be lost in the process. Action on Action on climate change will mean that governments and private companies will transition energy generation, how networks work and so on. That transition is inevitable. We will, we will stand with you in the fight for climate action because, it, as Joseph said, there are no jobs on a dead planet. And we ask you to stand with us and in the push for a just transition to ensure that we are heard, that we head towards a healthy and clean planet. We also create, we're also creating the jobs of the future and giving workers like me the opportunity to have skills to take on those new jobs. The commitments made by the state government today are massive. But a massive step, but there is more to be done. Thank you for your support in that struggle.